what's going on guys welcome back to another video and i was just sitting on youtube looking back at all my old videos and i got about to the seven year mark and i came across some old times some bad old times well today is going to be reliving the old times we're going to take the 50 uh to the spot where my old rm85 was left and trashed years ago and uh just just kind of get just relive the memory the worst memory ever of me as a kid riding my favorite ever rm85 some thief decided to come out and steal it from me so let's ride over there and hopefully nothing nothing happens to this old girl good old willie huh? Chopper, I remember that. That one was stolen. I just got this and paid 40 bucks. And hey, you ain't gonna believe what I got. What'd you get? I got another bike at the house. Don't know what it is, but she's painted that real beautiful Hot Wheels orange, that cream sick orange. Oh, yeah. Hey. I bet she's a beaut. You know, it's painted blue. How, how's, that, how's that thing ride? She ride pretty smooth? Oh, hey. One pedal right here. She'll go, she'll go about 20 foot on one stroke. Oh, wow. Yeah. Got a long, yeah, real long chain on her. Yeah, but hey, the other one, I couldn't do this. Couldn't do what? Just, Just push sit it. like this. That other, my knee was always buckled. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Yep. This one's longer. Yeah, that's probably a lot more comfortable. Oh, definitely. Yeah, the only problem is with it now, the fork is bent. Did you it, crash it? No, I bought it like that, but at least the brake's still working on. Yeah. They're not, they Somewhat. They then he tightened up. Then he tightened up a little bit. But. I can't tighten them up. Why not? The wheels work. Uh, and if I tighten it any more, it'll catch every time. It'll yeah. Just, it'll just jerk on it. Hey, could you imagine if I put one of those engines on here? That would be <laughs> something else. Then I could put a disc brake over here, get rid of the pedals on it. Hey, yeah. That'd be a good little bike. You'd, be, you'd have a real chopper then. Yeah. A Swin. It's a Swin Orange County, yeah. Orange County chopper. There you go, bud. Yeah. They used, they used to have foot pegs up here on it. Oh, wow. But this one didn't get the foot peg treatment. This is for a uh, medium-sized rider. Where you go about getting uh, t new tires for them things? I have no idea. I'd have to go to a bike shop, I guess. I had to replace the front. I had to replace the front tube in it last night. I had to replace the rear tube in this thing the other day. Oh, what'd you do, man? Uh, I just old tube. It uh, separated inside there. Somehow, I don't know. Yo, you know, I, I'm glad this don't have is. What? I'm glad it don't have them very old type of 90s wheels that split in half to take the tires and stuff off. Oh yeah, wow. Oh, I hated those. <laughs> those anyway, probably was a pain. Yeah, and people were doing this though to them. They were just welding them together then. I think. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. They said, oh, we can fit the tire over. All you gotta do is cut this little bead off right here. Hey. But man, it would blow out as soon as you got anything above 40 mile an hour. Wow. But these tires are road tires. I'd say they probably hold up to 50, 55. Yeah. One of your buddies. No, I don't know who that is. 
Oh, okay. now I know who it is. <laughs> All right, buddy. Or well, I'm gonna get to riding. Got yeah. breakfast cooking at the house. So yeah. I'll I'm say fixing, why it's. I'm fixing to eat too. I say why it's cooking. I'm gonna go ride a little bit. Yeah. I will, I think a lot more smooth ride. Hey, that thing's quick, dang. So this is the entrance, it's all grown up now. I haven't been here in quite some time. And there's a reason behind that, as you guys know. But uh, we're gonna go back here and see what's back here now. If there's anything new, any more stolen stuff that's back here. Not one to auto. Nice and minute. Exactly the same. Wow. Everything's pretty much the same, dude. As years ago. Minus the fact that it is super, super growing up. There is a house right there that you cannot see anymore. But you still got these cars. It's crazy. No one I mean this is this is a nice property out here. And then it could be like, you got this long driveway, but this is what it is. And somewhere along the side of here is where I found my stolen dirt bike. Kind of sketchy being out here, honestly. It's a little bit sketchy, it's too quiet. I don't like that. But that car has sat right there for the past seven years. Wow, this place is super sketchy. That house is super sketchy. A long time ago, I went inside there and it's not, not somewhere you wanna be. There's lots of weird, sketchy things in there from a long, long, long time ago. If you guys think we should do a video going back in there, definitely let me know down in the comments, but it's probably gonna take a little bit of persuasion uh, to persuade us to go back into that thing, so. Leave a comment, drop a like. Maybe if we get enough likes, we'll come check that thing out. Wow, so this was it, guys. This was where it all happened years ago. And it all looks pretty much the same. So I want to get out of here before anything else happened. The freaking pine cone fell and hit the top of that truck over there just a second ago. And I thought it was a gunshot or something. It scared the, scared the shit out of me. My heart's a little beating.
And that, guys, is a little throwback to seven years ago when I had my RM85, one of my first ever two-stroke dirt bikes, one of my first ever bikes in general. And uh, as you know, the guy thought he would take it from me, but I ended up finding it where I just showed you. He wanted us to go check out the, that abandoned house that's back out there. It's pretty, pretty sketchy inside. And um, there's a lot of, a lot of weird things. Definitely smash that bike button if we get enough likes. Enough persuasion, definitely go check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you on the next one.